Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. Today we'll be doing a complete teardown to see what's inside the LG X-Boom GO PL7. This is an IPX5 portable Bluetooth speaker that contains dual drivers, dual passive radiators, and produces punchy Meridian tune audio with a total play time of up to 24 hours. Without further ado, let's get into it. Out of the box, we have some documentation with a USB-C charging cable and the XBoomGo PL7 itself. Right off the bat, this is a hefty Bluetooth speaker for its size. Weighing at 3.2 pounds, this speaker measures 9.7 inches long with a height of 3.9 inches. It has a soft rubber texture with a classic pill-shaped design with a unique light-up pass radiator caps that comes at you at an angle on each side. On top of the speaker, we have a set of control buttons, which include the power, Bluetooth pairing, volume, play and pause, and sound boost mode. Toward the back, if we open this rubber flap, we can find the button for the dual mode, multi mode, light mode, along with the aux, USB-C, and USB type A charging port. Now let's get into the chair now. First off, we will take our focus toward the bottom base of the speaker. There is this rubber grip pad that we will take off to expose seven screws that will need to be removed. Once removed, we can now pry it off these four tabs in order to take off the front grill cover. This front grill is made of plastic that is both durable and has quite some flex to it. This in turn has helped the speaker handle and absorb impact fairly well from the last few times that I have accidentally dropped it. To remove the back cover, we will need to remove two additional screws on top of the speaker. We will then go toward the bottom to pry up these three tabs as well as the two tabs on the top. Now we will remove the passive radiator by removing two screws in the front and three screws on the back. We can now pry open the passive radiator and disconnect the cable for the LED lights. We will repeat the same process for the second passive radiator. Next, we will remove the LED mounts on both passive radiator by taking off these two screws. With the mount taken off, we can now remove the LED circuit board, which is held on by one single screw and two small tabs. This key-shaped circuit board contains two LED lights on the end of the board that flashes light to the beat of your music. You can use the X-Boom app to easily adjust the lightning effect, speed of the color change, and how the light corresponds to the beat of the music. Here's a quick test of the LED lights, and as you can see, they are pretty blinding. And here we have the two passive radiators. These light up passive radiators has a unique design which includes a spider on the inside. For those who don't know what the spider is, it's the brown wavy component of the radiators that helps with excursion. Next we can take off these two screws to get access to the microphone.
This microphone's quality is solid and provides you with calls that can be heard loud and clear on the delay. Next, we remove the two drivers by removing four screws on each drivers. These are 2.3 inch drivers with a depth of 2 inches and together punches 30 watts of power for the speaker. They deliver clean and detailed mid-range and treble along with a decent amount of bass with the help of the dual passive radiators. Combined, they do have quite a bit of weight and surely make up most of the weight of the speaker. Next off, we will remove the battery. To do this, we will take off this cover so we can pull out the battery. This is a 7.4-3900 mAh lithium-ion polymer battery that has a charge time of up to 5 hours and a play time of up to 24 hours. This 24 hours is based on using 50% volume and no line at all. I was able to get a total of around 14 hours of play time with the variety of volume with the light on. Now we will remove the charging board by taking off 6 screws for the back charging cover. This rubber back cover is sturdy and has a strengthened core to help keep its shape and to close properly. And here we have the charging board. This charging board contains 4 buttons, an aux port, a USB-C and a USB Type-A charge port. And now we will remove the motherboard by disconnecting a few cable and then sliding it out of the enclosure. This motherboard contains Bluetooth 5.0 that provides quick and simple pairing. It offers a speaker with 30 watts of high quality audio with Meridian audio technology. It supports Google Assistant and Siri so you can access your phone voice assistant by holding the play button for several seconds. With this motherboard, it also allows you to connect up to 100 PL7 Bluetooth speakers. Next, let's get access to the main control button sucker board by removing the top silicone cover. Make sure you peel it off cleanly so it can be reapplied back on. The control board itself is double side tape onto the enclosure so you have to gently pry it off without breaking it. This control board contains 6 of the top buttons along with 4 LED indicator lights for the buttons and battery life. Now we have the main body of the speaker. It has a very robust design and from the look of it, you can tell the speaker was well made with quality and durability in mind. And this completes the teardown of the LG X Boom Go PL7 Bluetooth speaker. Like always, if you enjoy and find this teardown helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to be up to date with all my teardown. And if you have any suggestion for future teardown, I would love to hear them in the comment below. Till then, I'll see you again on the next teardown.